Hello everybody and welcome back to City Skylines 2 with me Biffa here in Kettlebridge and today we're going to be working on the area over here on our main island where we can see our skyline has been nicely growing up. There were a lot of comments on the last video now that we've started to use the land value mod to help with our high rent issues. A lot of people were saying, well, look at all these little houses you've got down here, right next to all of these high rise buildings. And I think that is something that we need to change. Imagine living down here in this teeny tiny house and you look out your window and you've got that right in front of you. So that's what we're gonna be doing. And hopefully, while we're working on this, we're gonna need a lot more transportation and things in there as well. Um, but hopefully while we're working on this, we can unlock some more of our signature buildings. So we do have a Duclidia, I'm assuming, apartment uh, that we're going to be placing down here. Malari Palace as well. But we've got these ones here. They need level 5 EU high density housing. Um, a lot of those. So hopefully we'll be able to get those unlocked. Uh, we could always switch over to the North American as well. But we'll see how that goes. And then basically the only sort of other things we need to get unlocked... Um, Oh, we've got a lot of commercial. That's all low density. Some high density commercial. Okay. And then offices as well. So with a bit of a mix and a match with all of those, hopefully we'll be able to get the transition from our high density here down to a smaller. I mean, I do want to keep this low density all around here. We're not going to be getting rid of all of that. So I think the first thing uh, on board uh, that we need to do is to get rid of a load of this low density. So... Yeah, okay, that's what it looks like at the moment. With a snap of the fingers, it's going to look like this. And just before we do that, a word from our sponsor, Instant Gaming. If you like saving money on games, Instant Gaming have fantastic deals on right now. Please use my affiliate link. You can see it on screen and it's in the pinned comment below. This link can be used for Steam, PlayStation or Xbox games too with amazing deals. Maybe you want to pick up Cities Skylines 2 at some excellent prices or you've got a DLC or a content pack that you missed from City Skylines 1. You can check those all out on here as well at great deals. Thank you for your support of my channel. Enjoy the gaming deals and let's get back to the video. And there we go. This area is all now completely empty. We've got a bit of lower commercial zoning over here. I'll keep that for now. And we were almost 108,000. So that really hasn't lost us a huge amount of people. Um, let's just clear up some of these other little bits here as well. Also, I think I mentioned in the last episode how I've increased the size of my cursor, which hopefully will help you guys to be able to see better in the video. I've just noticed in the recording, it makes no difference at all. It's larger on my screen but on your screen it really isn't so apologies about that but that's the way it is i'm just thinking that connects down to here connects to there i don't want that to become a through street like this one probably will do although that only goes to the coast so actually yeah i think that'll be okay these are low rent houses that are in here so i'm not too concerned about those so the tallest building probably here we go is pretty obvious is these here high density offices let's get some in here and i don't want to go super super tall i did actually want to go bigger than that although that's not taken in the whole size Oh, probably because the land dips down there. Okay, that's fine. We'll add in some of those. And then maybe a little bit of the high-density commercial of just, again, some small sizes around here. And I want to sort of mix and match them up. So we do get different types of, you know, the look to the buildings. And then also throwing in some of the EU commercial uh to residential stuff as well and with a mix of those hopefully then we'll have this as a park maybe a little section down the back as, as a park as well and i'm thinking the best way to use all of this do we want to run a separate road up the side here i think we do we're going to use our old favorite the alley i'm just sort of setting that back from the road just a little bit and then we can sort of smooth that in that was not how i wanted to do it let's try it like that yeah there we go just a little bit Hopefully adding that on there doesn't cause a huge problem. There we go. And then we can put some houses of different sizes. What I'm thinking of doing is not having them coming off of this main road. So what I might do on there actually is add, as I do, add key walls along here. So now the zoning is on that side. 
There we go. We'll do that. We'll do this one. We'll put anarchy on so it lets us do it. This side, I'm going to be okay. We're going to have it connect on one side. Oh, we've got some buildings going in. Excellent. That's what we want to see. And then down here, I'm going to remove all the traffic lights and things that we've got here. There we go. And one of the crossings because to actually no, we'll put both in so they can cross from both sides that's fine and this bit here again we're going to put a key wall in and get all the zoning down here that seems like a bit of a, a slope coming up there i think that'll be okay just for this small little area we shall make do and again let's get some yeah, look at that. let's go for some high density but not too large and just see what they look like maybe we'll go for a little bit of this with some shops in there then that will do up to there and just see how that goes okay let's get some path connection in here so if i turn off all of my snappings pretty sure we could just run a nice little path up there nothing too complicated you can get through oh what a surprise it broke the zoning of the house next to it these just seem a little bit small to me i wanted them to be a lot taller hmm i am wondering whether that is commercial, isn't it? Commercial high. Whether it is just a fact that I need to zone them higher. I zone them bigger so they'll go higher. Let's just add another one along the back here and see whether that's... So they're still going to be two by two, whatever I do. Okay, I'll tell you what we're going to do then. We're going to go three by three like this. We'll get rid of that. And then hopefully that will give us a larger size. So it seems like three by two is basically... So if, do I need to go like that size to get... There we go. That's the bigger footprint. That one. All right, let's try that and see what that looks like. All oh, these are looking nice. These have just popped in. I don't mind those at all. And then we've got like the row of shops around the back here, which will service those. Excellent. We're going to have a bit of an increase in traffic until we really get things set up and running. What about trying to make room for the Duclidia apartment? So plus 10 well-being within 2.5 kilometers because that is a pretty darn big building which will fit there off the side of that road. But I'm thinking of trying to make this a real sort of focal point. And as the shape of our high line, our high rise skyline comes down that could be that could be just right here okay let's pop this in here and take a look how that fits in let's try that over there instead yes definitely think that looks a lot better with its nice little entrance like that which is good 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 could i add some trees onto that as well will it let me trees on both sides yep we can do that and then we can decide what trees we'd like them to be a little bit later when we do some decorating around here i like that i like that and then we'll probably turn off the parking around the front as well that is a nice looking building excellent how are we looking here so we've got these popped in these are still quite flipping short aren't they considering they're a commercial high what are the biggest ones we've got over here so we've got residential high high we've got high density offices residential high and what's the footprint on those yeah that's pretty big isn't it that's pretty big and if we actually look at what level these are at it may be that once they've hit the high levels that they start building up a little bit more we'll see how that goes so looking down this main road i think i'm also going to add a key wall all along this side as well let's do it as far as we can and then we'll add anakin and do it there and there and then we'll do it all the way down here so we can really beef up the zoning on this side. And then what I'm thinking we're going to do here. So which was the zoning we were really trying to unlock? So if we go to here, level 5 EU high density housing. Okay, so we really want to get some high density housing in here and get that leveled up. And I think one, two, three, four, five. If we go for something like that and another one next to it all the way along we will get some decently high houses there we go then i'm going to leave a gap and then we'll go again actually what i'm going to do is i'm going to leave a gap of two one two and then we'll go like that and like that and then for this bit here oh we may try and just i don't want to put keyboards everywhere if we do that and then delete it 
Okay, we'll have to do a little bit more there. There we go, just to get that whole corner in. And we'll do these ones as well. I'll leave a gap of two, and we'll just plop an extra one on the end. There we go. And why are all those are popping in? I've actually removed the key wall from this little section down here. Oh, they're building in, they're building in. Because of what I'd really like along here is some of the oh not those some of these eu mixed housing because i love the way that they have the shops underneath and having those off a sort of a main road like this i think works really well we're going to leave this bit free and i'd like a little park of some sort in here yeah we pop one of these in just off the corner here and then we can build that out and maybe yeah, add a little park and some trees along the back. Oh, we're getting a lot of these popping in now. Now, these here, oh wow, they do look a bit monolithic, don't they? In their, in their size. Now, I'm wondering whether I actually like all those in a row. What I liked about this is it was all very varied and different in height. And we had a couple of little spots where we've got the same buildings, but... Well, we've got a lot of the same buildings there, but actually, I don't like that many next to each other so i'll tell you what we're going to do we're going to rezone some of those i feel like bob ross doing a bit of painting today okay yep liking these don't mind these <laughs> what the heck eu commercial high is absolutely tiny again um i'm just thinking if we could get these to like zone oh darn it there we go zone as one big building that really could make a difference so we'll try that and then i'm going to switch out the zoning on some of these as well we're gonna go like this we're gonna go like that maybe even wider on that one just to sort of mix up the size of these so let's have a look down here anyway so these shops have all appeared i did try to remove the key wall off of this side but it messed up the zoning what a surprise so we couldn't do that but these aren't looking too shabby down here we are getting super busy so as we're going along we need to make sure that we care for our roads as well. I'm going to pause the game as I do this because I know I'm going to change it and it will mess up the zoning. So we're going to go for a five lane asymmetrical into there. It didn't. It kept the keyboard. Nice. Uh, we're going to have the same coming up to here. And then we're going to go for three lane asymmetrical into there. And we'll do the same into there, which I think will help a lot. I'm not going to mess with the traffic lights at the moment we're going to leave them as they are because i think having those lanes in even though they're not all dedicated lanes i think that is going to help let's just keep an eye on that for a second well there we go it's already gone down which is good this is still a bit of a problem here because there's loads of people currently moving in down here so i'm not too concerned about that just yet we'll come back to that and keep an eye on it as we go along I think that's okay it gives everybody access everywhere and then we could actually make this one a crossing over the street i think that would actually work a bit better and it's far enough back there we go from everywhere that you don't mind slowing down to let people cross there yeah i think that's okay and of course it messed up the zoning for these two places thank you very much that is fantastic game i'm just wondering for the trees along here whether we really don't have to get too complicated if we go for a brush and go for the evergreen and make the brush a little bit smaller. Make sure anarchy isn't on. Yeah, and we could sort of fill in some of these little spots like this with just like a spattering of trees. There we go, excellent. I don't think that's too bad, is it? That'd be a nice little place to walk around the back of these buildings if you wanted to get around. Then you can cut through and do some shopping over here as well, excellent. Let's just run another little path. Every time I look and think, oh, if I was at the end of that road, I would love to be able to get across there. And I know that that is going to not connect because it's got a key wall, or does it? I think it does, even though the visual's a bit out. That is just something we need to live with at the moment. Oh, man, look at all the people going into here. This is level five. 420 people are living in this place which is fantastic we could definitely spruce this up a bit oh it's 110 000. so removing all of those items and building bigger plots who'd have thunk it we've <laughs> we've actually managed to increase 
the amount of population we've got. Let's just get these a little bit closer. 10. There we go. And the random rotation. Yeah, I get comments about that all the time. I forget about the random rotation. So we've got that on. Uh, a little bit smaller so we can get in another one. That looks good. Oh, very nice. We'll just do a little bit of detailing here. There we go. Nothing too complicated. I think that's even more people walking around here to go in. It is. So many people. They're all wearing the same jacket as well. <laughs> Love it. And this is level five, isn't it? Yeah, that is fantastic. So the bonus for that one is going to be great. And I'm much preferring these buildings now with these various heights, even with this slightly shorter one in there. I think that looks okay. And that can help us start coming down now to a, a lower height around here right what are we going to do with this little bit so moving further into this area i think this road across here that's going to be the cutoff mark for any uh, larger buildings so we might rezone this little bit down here with the low density residential but i think i want to put this malari palace in here i mean it is a nice looking old building but i'm not necessarily going to sort of build it up and give it its own little area like we have with the duclidia apartments <laughs> very posh sounding name I just think that one can go there as like a throwback to perhaps all of this road on this little hill here being this type of houses. But then we've got to find out what's really going to fit in next to it. We want to just put some row houses behind it and just see how they fit in. Okay, so I put the EU uh, row houses to the left and I've put the North American... Oh, I think that was an auto save. Let's have a quick sip of tea. Yeah, and the North American to the right, just to try and sort of see which one I think fits in better. I mean, they're not entirely dissimilar. These are squarer. These have the sloped roofs and this has sort of a higher roof. Um, these sit f much further forward than these ones. Yeah, to be honest, I'm not sure. I mean, I wouldn't look at those straight off and say these look North American. Other than the fact, this reminds me of Seinfeld <laughs> with all the uh, aircon hanging out the window. But yeah, I'm thinking maybe we'll just stick to the EU because of the shape of the roof and we'll go with that. There we go. They're all just popping in. So I've got them on both sides of the street now. I think that'll make a nice little... A nice little street there with these type of houses on with the old one in the middle. While the rest of those are growing in, uh, let's maybe zone this up a little bit down here. And I'm thinking again to have this same park over this side and we could do a similar thing. And then also having all of these shops uh, down here, uh, which we know work really well. How far back is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so if we start from here. That should be okay. I feel like I need a little bit more room. Uh, let's start that from there. And then we'll have these all along here like so. Excellent. And then I'll just mirror this over here like this. There we go. Fantastic. And what I like about these parks is there are slightly different variations of them. So the tree's a bit different. The gazebo at the back's a little bit different. So that fits in really well. Oh, these are all grown in. Excellent. So we're <laughs> a lorry driving right out the front door. Okay, don't worry too much about that. And then it comes down to these houses over here. I think that is looking quite good. And that helps to sort of transition into this lower commercial area that we've got over here. Let's just take a step back. So remember, most of this now is going to be low density. And I'm liking the way that it's up high. Little, little jump here. That's fine. And it's sort of dropping down over here. So then this section over here. I'm wondering whether we could connect that road straight through or into this one over this side do you know what i'm not i'm gonna leave that there as a nice little dead end not everything has to go all the way through i think that's fine so i'm thinking over here we do want some much shorter smaller buildings now a lot of these are low rent which is very helpful Ooh, i'm a bit perky jerky saving there uh these are saying not enough customers okay so maybe some more of those low rent buildings there. This little section here, I want to sort of separate off. And then we'll run a pedestrian street. There we go. Excellent. Of course, it messes <laughs> with the zoning. Because, you know, everything messes with the zoning. It's just, you know, that's just a way of life. We have to live with it. I'm not gritting my teeth. You're gritting your teeth. Uh, if I get rid of that there, are you going to let me do it? No. If I do... No, it's not going to let me do it. Whatever. We'll just we'll just go with the flow. And now this low rent house over here has unfortunately lost its zoning because of that. If I pop that in, no, that's going to regrow. You regrow. 
That's fine. You do you. There we go. Excellent. I love that down the middle there. I don't think we can add trees to that, can we? Unfortunately. That would have been nice. I might be wrong. No, we can't. All right, we won't be adding trees to that. How about a nice little line of trees along the back instead? There we go. That just sort of separates it off from this area. And then the, either side here, we will turn that more into a park for Decludia, du Duclidia Apartments, whatever we decided to call that. Let's get some more lower rent housing in here. And I'm thinking we want to get these... I want to get these sort of facing different ways, not all facing the same way. So I'm going to use this alley... Uh, we can come off of this small sort of side road like that. That why? Deep breath, Biffa. Deep breath. And then I'm just thinking this little bit here, we could have it off the main road, but we could go for oh, what did I just put in there? High density housing by mistake. I think I did. Residential high, residential high. I did. I put residential high in all of those. Why don't we leave them as residential high? Let's see what we come, uh, what it comes up with. Let's put some low density in here, and we'll go for slightly bigger ones for there. And then this along here, we're not going to zone, and this we're not going to zone. We'll remove that, or we might just put a little. Let's just pop a little shop in here. We know these aren't going to get too big, so let's just go like that, and let's just see what all of that looks like when it eventually grows in because at the minute things are growing a little bit slowly oh just looking through the signature buildings we do have under the north american one a baltar baltar pines how about just over on this side we still get that bonus of plus three well-being 750 meters away but that is not too bad in there i think that'll be okay and then we can build up uh, next to it and again oops and then again we could go for High density business. Yeah, so I don't know how big these are going to be. Let's just maybe pop one there, one there, and just check out the size of these. I know it's the American one. Is that going to work? That's not going to work. And we'll just sort of see how that looks. Right, has this grown in yet? It has. There we go. So we're getting that look of some facing one way, some facing the other way. That, to me, looks a lot more natural. I'm liking that, definitely. Okay, that's good. So that was the residential high. So definitely we want more of the low rent along the back here. So we've still got more room for trees and paths and things around them. I don't mind that little small commercial place there. And then what I want to do is get lots of paths and things in here as well. We want to encourage walking as much as possible. That'll be fine. And then again, we might just almost click the wrong button. We might just paint uh, some trees over here. Let's go for the wild deciduous. Yeah, anarchy's off. And then we really need to take a look at the school situation because in this area, we have suddenly plopped in so many more people. Than what we had in before what are we up to 112 113 thousand okay let's take a quick look at our education in this area what have we got so the nearest college is rammed we can click on that and see it as well yeah that's rammed that is not quite rammed the high school so that's okay elementary school rammed uh elementary school rammed okay and we've got nothing down this way so how is that, whoops, how is that affecting education overall? I mean, yeah, elementary schools and colleges, we need some more. So I'm thinking maybe this little section here, as we're getting more to the low rent, can I actually fit in an elementary school? I can, but can I then put in the upgrades that I want to put in as well? I'm going to plop it there. I probably can't. We'll put in what we can, so we'll get that. This ain't going to fit in. But I think we'll just deal with that, having that one. That will fit in there. Excellent. So we almost get all the ones that we want. Very good. A little bit of detailing with some trees around here. Yeah, there we go. A few pine trees around that. That is filling up. And then we're also going to need to stick a college in here as well. Uh, which is going to be a heck of a lot bigger. Darn it. That is really going to take up. I wish they made these a little bit smaller so it didn't take up so much space i think we're gonna have to remove that road there 
And we're really going to have to make use of this. What's this we've got down here? Very small little house. Yeah, I'm afraid you're zoned by mistake. You're gone. Let's turn off all of our snapping and just see if we can line it up with the left hand. Like that. And then bring it back. I'm hoping that's okay. And then... Oh, it's actually facing this way. Darn it. Well, actually, you know, I don't mind that because then we can add a road in here. So if we grab one of these two-lane roads like so... Yeah. Oh, you're going to want it all the way down to there, aren't you? Okay. Yeah, that's fine. It's not too busy, is it? So I don't think that's going to be a problem. And then we could even just bring this out. This. I mean, I wouldn't normally put roads this close together, but... I mean, that has a that is a busy... That is a busy street there, isn't it? So to look what we're going to do. Well, it's, a big, it's a bigger street. I wouldn't say it's necessarily busy. We'll just do that so it downgrades to give way signs. And then I'm going to take off those. So you still have to walk to cross over there. Excellent. And then I'm thinking this bit here, we could definitely pop in. Ooh, let's have a look. Let's have a look. We're going to go for this small plaza again because it's become a bit of a theme of the area. We're going to line it up opposite there. There we go. Oh, that's a different one, isn't it? That's not what we used before. What was this one? That was small park. Yeah, that's fine. And then we can build up around that. In fact, what I'm going to do is grab the surface mod. And I know this has got fences down here. But I am just going to basically bring out this surface like so. So it covers all of this area. That's the last one. Oh, we can do this little bit in here as well. Let's extend that. Let's extend that. There we go. And I think that looks a bit more like it sort of fits in. And then we can do some detailing around there too. Excellent. All right, we're getting good. We're getting good. I like these ones here. Let's zone back in the lower density houses that we had here. I think we're going to need a few more roads in here. I'm going to bring that one across to there. I meant to have that one straight. And then we'll do the same. I think that was saving. We'll do the same here as well. There we go. And then we'll go this way. Excellent. And then I want to take the zoning off the main road. Do I? Yes, I do. Oh, please don't mess up the zoning on stuff I've already built. Please. Thank you. There we go. Actually, Andy added uh, key walls down there. So that made it a lot easier. So these houses here are all EU residential low. So that is nice and easy. So I think what we're just going to do is literally paint those in like so and we'll get what we get just to fill up that little bit there just thinking what could we have down here some medium density houses through this little spot here again would help us to start bringing down the size of everything we've got so eu medium density i mean again i'm just going to like fill all of that in there and there oh there we go i think that sort of trails away nicely with the height of these buildings down to our row housing and then down to our low density houses as well I think that is looking pretty good, pretty good. And then we've got to just maybe do the same through here. I mean, we're not that far off, to be honest, with a few. I think this little place here, Biffington Springs, very nice, very nice. A few more low rent places in here would probably just sort of finish this off. Then we really need to take a look at our mass transit in the area because... We're possibly overwhelming that a little bit, but hopefully it's not too bad. I think that's looking good, isn't it? Let's go back over here where we were before. So basically all of this section here in the middle there has been added. So, and there's a lot of buildings that you can't see from that angle. That's beefed us up now. Nearly 114,000. What were we at when we started? 107? Okay, excellent. So we're doing okay. Let's have a look then at our mass transit that we've got in this area. I mean, the traffic is holding up fine. This main road that's always given us a problem before is okay. Lots of walking going on. Are they using the path along the back here? They are. All the paths along the back here, through the parks. Excellent. Round Duclidia Heights and our residential streets. They're using all of those. So that has really helped. That's something worth remembering. Okay, so just taking a top-down view of the area, let's have a look at the transportation overview. So probably the largest things that need service in here are the college and Duclidia apartments, because that's got so many people in. And then these buildings here. We do have bus stops right there within walking distance. We have bus stops right here within walking distance, which is good. If we go page down, we get an easier view of our subway way or our metro that sort of loops around so we'll stop over here and a stop over here 
and that's further. So there isn't one for right in the middle, but I'll be honest, just with this little area that we built up here, I'm pretty sure that those buses and everything we've added in could be okay. What I am going to do, if we come out of this view, is this section back here, I want to add something. Could I add, like, a taxi stand in there? I can. I don't want to add it right on the pedestrian streets. Maybe we could just add that one over here on the side. One over here on this side. Just to sort of cover this area a little bit. And I think we'll probably be okay with what we've got. I don't think we just need to overdo it too much. Can I add a path coming out the back here? Because we've got these bus stops over here. If we could get like a walkway through, that could be good. There we go. We can. It connects. I mean, we're going to have to ignore the fact that it goes through the fence. There's nothing I can do about that. But that goes okay and gets people over there from the school. They can walk through. So actually, I think that's worked out really well. Well, I was just setting up for some fantastic end shots and we've managed to unlock Milestone 19, Massive Metropolis, with another 25 points to spend. We've only got one to go to get to Megalopolopolis. And we'll have a look in the next episode to see the things that we can finally unlock. Let's take a look at what we've built so far. Let me know what you think about our additions to Kettle Bridge. And don't forget to check out Timberborn. That series is really getting eyes, oh, bite your nails, edge of your seat stuff. Don't miss it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.